26 January, India celebrates its Republic Day. We all know that India got its independence on 15th August 1947. But the nation didn't have any constitution of its own. However, after many discussions and considerations, a committee headed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar submitted a draft of the Indian Constitution, which was adopted on 26th November 1949 and officially came into existence on 26th January 1950. On this day in 1950, when the Constitution came into force, it was a big step for the nation to achieve the ideals of justice, equality, liberty and fraternity. Republic means the highest authority and the power in the country is the people living in the country. It implies that the public has the right to elect their representative political leaders to lead the country based on the constitution. May I now request Reverend Sister Karuna to come forward to hoist the Indian tricolor. Promise to strive. 
strive for justice, freedom and equal rights for every Indian and for peace and unity among all who are fortunate enough to live in this glorious nation. Wish you a very happy Republic Day. esteemed vice principal madrasa dear teachers and my beloved students on this auspicious occasion of 73rd republic day i would like to wish you all a very happy republic day as this is our one of the best and the biggest national festival after india became free from the british rule in 1947 The Constituent Assembly was formed to frame the Constitution of India and it was on this day in 1950 when we adopted our own constitution and India was declared a republic with the tricolor waving above us we celebrate the strength of our constitution we pay tribute to India's fallen heroes and being proud of our diversity of this nation dr martin luther king once said his guiding light is mahatma gandhi india the world world's largest democratic and the world's oldest democratic country if we stand together we can achieve greater heights rooted in india's ethos our nation will be strongest when we see that we are all god's children all equal in his eyes and worthy of his love across our great countries we have hindus muslims christians sikh jews buddhist and jains and we need to remember the wisdom of gandhi who said for me 
the different religions are beautiful flowers from the same garden or they are branches of the same majestic tree the future of our nation is in today's children the young people ought to have every chance to pursue your dream in all circumstances of life india is one of the oldest civilizations in the world with a variety and rich cultural heritage it has achieved all round socio economic progress since the day of independence india has crossed many hurdles on its rights as the seventh largest country in the world india stands apart from the rest of the asia marked off as it is by mountains and the seas which gives the country a distinct geographical identity bounded by the great himalayas in the north it stretches southwards at the tropic of cancer tapers off into the indian ocean between the bay of bengal on the east and the arabian sea on the west mark twain a celebrated american writer has rightly said about india india is the cradle of human race the birthplace of human speech the mother of history grandmother of legend and the great grandmother of traditions once again wish you all a happy and colorful republic day jai hind i remain thank you umr bhale hi choti ho zindagi badi honi chahiye ek fauji ke rutbe se bada koi aur rutba nahi hota पर्दी की शान से बड़ी कोई और शान नहीं होती और अपने देश से बड़ा कोई धर्म नहीं होता मेरे तेरी शान पे सदके कोई धन है क्या तेरी धूल से बढ़के तेरी धूप से रोशन तेरी हवा पे जिंदा तू बाग है मेरा मैं तेरा परिंदा है अर्ज ये दीवाने की जाबूर सुहानी देखी एक रोज वही मेरी शाम हो कभी याद करे जो जमाना माटी पे मर मिट जाना जिक्र में शामिल मेरा नाम हो वो देश मेरे तेरी शान पे सदके कोई धन है क्या तेरी धूल से बढ़के तेरी धूप से रोशन तेरी हवा पे जिंदा तू बाग है मेरा मैं
तेरा प्रेम 